Lucia tutorial. Hello and welcome to our channel. On this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Lucia. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. And to create an account on Lucia, you can also use my affiliate link below the description where I earn a small commission at no additional cost to you. And by using the link, you may also get some discount or rewards upon sign up. But before that, if you don't know what is Lucia, it is a B2B go to market intelligence platform that provides accurate and direct contact information for sales, revenue operations, Market, market and, rec and recruitment teams globally, in which this platform offers prospecting tool and extension to facilitate faster connections and engagements, in which users can access additional data types like intent and job change alerts to enhance outbound efforts. And also, Lucia enables CRM data enrichment to ensure up-to-date information, and the platform prioritizes data privacy being GDPR and CCPA compliant with a third-party validation. And now to start using this platform, you could also enter your email address in here and click start for pre button in order to sign up or signing in to this platform. Then you will be able to be directed on this page. To create an account, you could also enter your email address in here and your company name or sign in using your Google account or Office 365 account. And after that, you will be able to be directed on this page on which all you need to do is to enter what's your department, to enter what's your job title, and what size of your company. So basically below here, all you need to do is simply select some of your answer with the given options in here and click this done button below here to proceed. And upon clicking on it, you will be able to be directed on this page in which this is what the dashboard looks like of Lucia. And as you can see in here, you can start setting up your account in here by simply filling out all of the required information or step-by-step -step process in here. While on the left side panel, you can start navigating, onboarding, home, prospecting, list, engage, CSP enrichment, CRM enrichment, API, intent, alerts, and many more. But as you can see under the setup checklist, if you scroll down, it will show you a lot of things that you need to fill out, including disconnect the CRM, install the Lucia Chrome extension, enable Lucia everywhere in the extension, and many more. Now moving on to the website panel, we can also navigate this home by simply clicking on it. You will be able to see here all of your recent activity, your prospect searches, Usage analytics on the right side panel in here, you can see here the number of credit use, save contacts, and any other data in here. And below here, you could also see some of the recommended companies and also do your quick search in here. While under prospecting, by simply clicking on it, you'll be able to see here some of the efficient build targeted lists of potential customers, in which the platform allows users to search for contacts based on criteria such as name, location, revenue, industry, and many more, in order to identify the most relevant prospects for their sales and outreach efforts. That is why you can see here on the left side panel, under contacts, some of the filters we have here company name, location, industry, and many more, in which this option is streamlined the prospecting process and increase the chances of turning those prospects into customers. Now moving on aside from prospect that we could also navigate, we could navigate here also on the left side panel, the list by simply clicking on it. It will show you on the right side panel that this option is designed to help users efficiently manage and organize their prospect list within the platform, in which the list features allow users to categorize and prioritize contacts based on specific criteria, making it all easier to focus on most relevant prospects for their sales and marketing efforts. And aside from this, you could also navigate on the left side panel, this engage option by simply clicking on it. You will be able to see here that this feature is designed to help users effectively manage and optimize their email outreach campaigns in which the tool allows users to create and send personalized email sequences to target prospects with the goal of establishing meaningful connections and driving conversions. So from here, to create new sequence, just click this button new sequence right here, and you will be able to be directed on this page. And from here, all you need to do is to simply fill out all of the required information and finish all of this step. We have here step one, which is compose, in which the first thing that we need to do is to simply choose either to choose email templates or choose to create from scratch. But in those option, I'm going to choose email templates. And after that, you simply select the templates that you prefer in here. If here, outbound, called outreach, industry based, targeting, and many more. After selecting a specific template, we can now proceed by knowing or by editing all of this template if you want to. Then you simply follow all of the step. And after that, we can now proceed by adding or creating our own sequence in here. Now moving on under CSB enrichment. This feature allows users to quickly and easily enrich their existing contact data stored in CSV files. So as you can see on this page, it will show you the file name, status, scan rows, enrich, and potential enrichment in here. And to upload a CSV file, just click this button on the top right corner. 
and upon clicking on it, it will show you a pop-up window wherein you can start uploading your CSV contact list and by uploading CSV containing a partial or incomplete contact information, Lucia can automatically fill the missing details such as email addresses, phone numbers, job titles, and company data. Now moving on to CRM enrichment, by simply clicking on it, it will show you in here that this option is designed to enhance the information in a user's Salesforce CRM by automatically filling in missing or outdated details. And this feature helps to standardize and improve the quality of the data within the CRM. Now moving on, we could also navigate this API by clicking on it. It will provide users with a seamless way to integrate premium contact and company information into their products or applications, in which the API allows users to easily retrieve detailed information about individuals and companies, including email addresses, phone numbers, location, and many more. Now moving on to intent, by clicking on it, we will be able to see here the valuable insights into the purchasing behaviors and preferences of potential customers, in which intent data is based on online product, searches, and other digital signals that indicate a company's interest in a specific product or service. Now moving on aside from some of the options that you can start navigating on the left side panel, you could also navigate on the top left corner, including by clicking your profile, it will show you your account settings, team management, integrations, to view plans, help and support, and even to log out your account in here. And also to install Lucia extension in here. Now going back on this page right here, let's say we're going to create a prospect or search for specific prospect or leads by clicking on prospecting button right here. It will show us under these contacts a prospect search and for instance, we're going to filter from this or specific company by clicking in here company name. Let's say given all of this company, I'm going to click or choose for specific company to filter which is Walmart by clicking on it. You'll be able to see the result on the right side panel all of the contact or some of the person that has connection with Walmart, including their contact names, email address, and even their phone number. And to see other details, just click the show details button right here in order to see other details of the specific person or contact. And now it will now show you on this pop-up window all of the details that you have to know. And by clicking the save to, you will be able to save the contact from your list. But let's say we're going to create a specific list, I'm going to enter here. A sample list then proceed by clicking create new list button below here to proceed then enter the name of my list sample list then click create and save button below here to proceed and after that it will show you that the contact has now been saved to one of my lists but aside from company name you could also filter some other contacts based on location in here for a contact or company if you want to to enter here your contact zip code or filter using industry employee headcount revenue funding technology and many more. And now to check if the list has now been added and the contact has now been saved to a specific list, let's just go back on this list and right here it will show you under sample list that we have now successfully add one list or one contact in here. But overall, that is just basically how you can use Lucia. Thank you.